I warmly welcome you to this auspicious occasion of the inauguration of four security related committee. The committees are Special Committee on Intelligence Gathering on Activities of Employment, Management Committee on Operation of the Community Protection Guards, Committee on Prosecution of Mandatory Related Offenses and the State, and the State Security Standing Committee. The establishment of these committees is part of the tireless effort of my administration to address the over decade-old problem of mandatory confronting our state and the other state in the Northwest. Since the inception of my administration, we have continuously worked our strategy aimed at crushing the tide of mandatory in part of the state. In recent week, we have witnessed increased attack in part of the state, most especially in Musau, Bukum, and the women local government areas. Let me therefore use this event to once again convey the sympathy of the present government to the people of Mada, Wonaka, Ruamboli, and Otondaji, or of Musau local government area. Equally, I extend our uh, sympathy to the people of Zugu, Wawa Ichi, Ibran, Wawa Ichi, Salu, Gaudi, Karam, Rongkura, Nanaki, Kairu, Takalafia, Uli, Gidangunta, Balihi, Gadarzema, Kado, Majihi, Tunga Mayrakuni, Tunga Bab, Tunga Bab, 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 Mianga, Gayawa, Gora, Kudi, Sharkai, Gale, Tonga Seki, Namariki, Ulimutu, Gedenbisa, and Tonga Mazo, or Bukum and women local Ghana, respectively. My Allah's one who are allied were those who lost their lives with our general freedoms. The recent perilous and barbaric attack have again reminded us that we must continue to explore strategies for combating this dreadful monster which we tend to consume not just our state but the entire Northwest sub-region. This is what informed our decision to adopt new measures which we hope will significantly help in crushing this edge all challenges. We are aware of the misgiving experts and the misinterpretation of some quarters regarding the new measures, particularly the decision to encourage members of the community suffering almost daily from inhuman aggression from the bandit to acquire firearms to defend their communities. I would like to remind us that self-defense is a natural instinct and has always been part of a human survival strategy. And those entrusted with the safety of lives and the property of our people we will do everything possible to uphold this responsibility within the ambit of the law. We are also aware that the security forces are doing their best to combat this formidable challenge. Their efforts are, however, hampered by a lack of adequate modern warfare equipment and a days of personnel and uh, manpower capacity. Our decision to mobilize people to secure their community is therefore for the people to complement the part of the conventional security forces in dealing with the budgetary and efficient out improvements. In addition, the acquisitions and the uses of firearms by the members of the general public who desire to do so will be governed by the Nigerian firearms law. 
It is our record that our administration has explored all workable options to address the issue of banditry and related crime in the state. This option includes dialogue, reconciliation, and disarmament strategy. Regular engagement with the prior government on issues of security, including His Excellency Mr. President and the National Security Chieftains, collaboration with the neighboring state and the authority of Nigeria Republic, shutting down a mobile telecommunication network to give our security purpose the leeway to take the battle directly to the bandit portraces. We equally established Shuruga project to provide a settlement for nomads and the provision of logistics. Uh, logistical support to the security forces, including vehicles, drones, and other uh, security equipment. The committee we are inaugurating today will further boost our effort to combat this dreadful challenge, both in the short and long run. We have assembled accomplished individuals with track record of performance as members of the committee. The committee have since begun their terms uh, as been given the terms of references, let me, however, give a roll call of the membership of each committee. First, the Special Committee on Intelligence Gathering on Bandit-related activities. It should be headed by the Secretary to the State Government, Alaji Kaburu Balarabe Sardana Kaburu. Alaji Ibrahim Suleiman, the Chief of Staff to the Governor, Retired D.I.G. Mama Ibrahim Zapi, the Honorable Commissioner for Security and Home Affairs. Alaji Nasir Zarabi Masawa, Honorable Commissioner of Views and Sport, Honorable Commissioner for Information, Alaji Ibrahim Magaji Gosara, Alaji Sani Abdullah Shinka, Honorable Advisor to the Governor, Alaji Abakar Mohammed Dauran, Honorable Special Advisor on Security Matters. Alaji Sanusi, Captain Malame Riga, Alaji Sani Gomna Mahechi, Alaji Bello Bakiaswa, who is the Director General, should serve as the Secretary of the Committee. The Management Committee of Operation of Community Protection Guard is to be headed by CP Maman Anka, who will be the Commandant General of the guard. We have Captain Amin Umada retired, an army captain, who is the deputy commander general. We have Suleiman Lawali Zulmi, who will serve as commandant operation. We have Bashir Nafi Ubuso, who will be commander mobilization. We have Alaja Liu Nabi Karakai as commander surveillance and intelligence. We have the representative of Nigerian Army, representative of Nigerian Air Force, representative of police, representative of DSS, representative of civil defense, reps of Hunters, Alaji Shi to make it a lot of member, Alaji Bella Dunkuri member, Alaji Doguna Boku member, and a legal practitioner to be appointed by the governor as a member. Committee on prosecution of banditry related offenses. We have Alaji Sani Abdullah Shenkapi, Honorary Advisor to the Governor as a Chairman. Alaji Ibrahim Suleiman, Chief of Staff Member. Retired Justice Nasir Umar Gumi, Member. Retired CP Mama Anka, Member. Engineer Mahmoud Maladu, Member. Barista Jumeda Aminu Kaula, Attorney General Commission of Justice, to serve as the Secretary of the Committee. We have the State Security Standing Committee. We have the retired DIG Mamas Afi, Honorable Commissioner of Security and Home Affairs, as Chairman. We have Alaji Abakar Mohammed Dauran, Honorable Special Advisor on Security Matters Deputy Chairman. We have Sani Governor Mayanchi Member, Sheikh Abakar Sudengi Member, Chairman Zakat, Alaji Hussein Mallan Member, Alaji Masumi Member, Bello Togoji Member, Mama Ibrahim Shiu Member. Director Security, Minister of Security, Home Affairs, to serve as the Secretary of the Committee. I am confident that these committees will faithfully carry out their mandate to accomplish the intended goal. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provide success to our effort to build peaceful and prosperous Zimbabwe State.
It is now my pleasure to formally inaugurate the Special Committee on Intelligence Gathering on Activities of Employment, the Management Committee on Operation of the Community Protection Guard, the Committees on Prosecution of Bandit-Related related Offenses, and the Stand Standing Committee on Security. Thanks you, and God bless you. Amen. And uh, I ask this committee to hold their first meeting with immediately after leaving the chamber, so that you shall start working with immediate effect. And in addition, the government is going to provide all logistic vehicles, motorbikes, so that for the benefit of this committee, 1,500 motorbikes were secured and will be given to this committee with immediate effect. We have we have provided 20 helix new ones to the committee so that they can reach on their activities. And for the benefit of doubt, I heard what people are saying, maybe uh, they don't understand what this committee is to do, and particularly the committee on, uh, particularly the, our uh, uh, JTF. We, did, we are not calling it as such. We have formed our own committee or operational uh, guidelines on this. And it's the same thing. Meduguri has their JTF which was fully cuted and they have everything to fight the Boko Haram. And everybody is aware about that civilian JTF of Meduguri, they are equipped and kitted. Therefore, we as the people of Zambra State, we have adopted our own and they are going to work hand in hand with the security agencies <laughs> so that they can do much well. As I mentioned, that the security doesn't have much more power. We have so many uh, uh, challenges in each and every local government, which security has to divert from one local government to another. But with these committees and the community depends, can put hand together with our own security so that they should work together and push out this criminal from every corner of the state. My committee is charged with responsibility of prosecuting uh, armed banditry related offenses, which comprises the activities of informer, uh, drug suppliers, or let me put it in, 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 in all in one terms, logistics suppliers to the armed banditry camps. And this is the time that the Zampra State Governor, His Excellency Dr. Bello Matualam Maradun, has come out with the with the serious action for the fight against Amber the Three. There is no mercy for the massless. There is no return, no surrender, and those who are aiding and abetting Amber the Three in the first state, whether directly or indirectly, no matter your status in the society, the law will take its course. There is no hiding place for kidnappers, killers. Cathy Rostelin, an armed bandit and sponsor of a criminal element in the state. And this is the time there's going to be a total flush out of crime and criminality in Zampara State. The governor has extended window for peace accord since his accession as the governor of the state. And this window now, the bandits and their sponsors have crossed their boundary. And there's no window for any peace accord with the armed bandit and criminal element in the state. I now call on the sponsors, informant, armed bandit, and their collaborators, and their court travelers to stay away from Zampara State because there's no time for nonsense. This is time for action. And we are going to make sure that Zampara will be free of crime and criminality in the coffers of Mon to come, inshallah.